after installing SharePoint 2010, first thing you are going to see is SharePoint 2010 Central Administration. This application allows us to manage application settings and monitoring and backup the whole SharePoint um, 2010. So if you look at the screen, this is my SharePoint 2010 Central Administration. As you can see from the options here, you will see application management where you can manage web applications, create site collections, manage service applications, manage content databases. The next option monitor so you can review problems in uh, how to solve those problems in jobs running including the services running uh, for the SharePoint 2010. The next option is security where you can set up your groups and user accounts and you know all kind of security and pages. Uh, general application settings are basically connections then system settings backup and restore up upgraded migration and configuration. I'm going to uh, discuss these options one by one in my uh, you know forthcoming videos. So what else can you do on this page? You can actually uh, customize this page the way you like. There is options to customize this page. So there are two ways you can do it. You can click on either page. If you click on page, you will see this uh, menu items and toolbar here. This is actually a new addition to SharePoint 2010. So if you are using 2007, uh, you probably won't be won't see these options but this is more like Microsoft try to make it more like a Windows uh, Office 2010 uh, look and feel so you can edit this page from here or you can also use the site actions menu item so in site actions if you click on edit page this will let you modify the web parts on this page you cannot change the existing um, existing links there but you can add update and delete the new web parts you add to the page so let's click on edit page what we are going to do is we are going to actually add a few web parts to the space to customize our page so let's click on there uh, when I click on this as you can see there are in the right side I see a control and link called add a web part so if you are familiar with SharePoint you know what this does this allow you to add a web part to this page and at the bottom also I see add a web part right here so if you click on any of these so I'm going to click on this one as soon as you click on add a web part you will see the web part categories and web part controls listing opens up there and in the left side you can pick a category and in the category you can select a web part or you can also upload your upload your own web part if you have created your own web part so in the here you have all the web parts belonging to that um, category so in the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to one web part here announcements it, it tells you about the web part and you know where to upload it and then say add as soon as you click add button you can see announcements is added here and now using this you can actually add a new announcement um, so stop editing will actually stop editing this page and it will you know move back to the standard format now here I'm going to add one more web part and I'm going to call this resources resources will allow me to add any kind of links to this uh, like say for example so you may have a website where you want to add a useful links for your developer so you can come here and add whatever links or whatever website you feel like is uh, important for your users who visit this SharePoint 2010 uh, web page so add now as you can see uh, my resources uh, web part is added here so here what I can do is I can add a new announcement well, I'll say SharePoint uh, 2010 deployed You can also set when your news is expired so uh, let's say you know this is good enough for a couple of weeks so I'll just set there and save 
as soon as you're done you can see uh, your new your announcement is added there uh, now I can just say stop editing stop editing is actually stops editing my page and now you can also add, come back again and add a new announcement again so it's like home page editing is done So, so beside, if you click on this, you can see more details about that, you know, and you can set alert me, delete item, manage permissions, and edit items, which I'm going to discuss later. Uh, but to give you an idea how you can add, a, you know, more web parts to the home page. So I'm going back to now add a new link where I'm going to add some resources. So I'll say. Uh, cshopcorner.com and I'll say shop corner to learn about shop programming this added, this added a new link here I'm going to add one more link say sharepointtalks.com learn sharepoint 2010 you can test it here so it opens the URL there wherever you go it's boom uh, so save so that said you can add a few resources here you can add announcements here and you can also upload any like if you want to add some specific uh, web part you created for your uh, your team you can just uh, deploy it and then upload it here so in this video we learn how to customize your home page using existing features available in SharePoint 2010 central administration in my next video I'm going to um, continue exploring more features in SharePoint 2010